To type inside of a cell, you need to first select the cell by moving your cursor to that cell and left clicking. You'll notice it'll have the blue line around it showing you that's the cell that you are going to currently type in. Then you just begin typing. When you are finished, hit the enter button. If you come back to this cell and you begin typing, notice it types over what you already had in the cell. If you wanted to add additional information to this cell, you need to actually double click. Now put your cursor where you need to add additional information and continue to type and hit the enter button when finished. Now let's look at some of the basic formatting. You'll find that you see the same exact formatting across the top here that you see in other G Suite apps. So for example, this first row, I wanna bold these titles. So I left click and select those cells and come up to the B for bold. You also can find a lot of the formatting features underneath the format menu up top. Now if I add another column heading here, notice it did not bold. So if you know you're gonna add additional columns, instead of choosing just these cells, you wanna move your cursor over to the row where it says the number one here, left click on it and notice now that it's selected this entire row. Then come up and hit the B for bold. It's gonna unbold it first and now I'm gonna bold that entire row. So notice when I come here and I type my next title, it automatically added bold to it. If you wanna change the font of a cell, you would just select the cells by left clicking and dragging your mouse. Then you can come up and you can choose the font and you can even change your size. If you know that you want to change the entire sheet, you'll notice a little cell up here above the one and to the left of the A. If you left click and select this, it chooses your entire sheet for you. Now you can come up, choose your font, and choose the size that you want and your entire sheet will be that same font and size. Notice that you have the ability to change the font color. So let's highlight this first row and let's change that font color to blue. We can come here to the paint bucket next to it and we can click on this and choose the fill color. And now it has titled that entire row that blue color. So those are just some of the basic formatting features that you can see. You can explore additional ones up top here by clicking around.